Hello everyone, thank you very much for watching this video. In this video I'm going to share with you a very quick technique that will let you that will really help you change the appearance and look and feel of your Visual Studio IDE. Now as you can see here this is something very bright and sometimes it can really hurt your eyes I mean as it did in my case so what I did I changed some of the settings here and now that's how it is appearing now you can see everything all the keyword and uh, and some of the phrase and reserve keywords are appearing in certain colors and the background has changed to black now I know the comment and everything is all more standing out okay so for that what you can do is that you can just go to tools menu go to options and then let me see where the option is it is under the environment under the fonts and color it's right here you can change the foreground color you can change the background color similarly you can change the selected text for example if you select something how it's going to appear okay you can do all that you can even go to customs and uh, and you can play around with it it's so simple you can even say uh, the comment for example comment in my case is lime green it's it's standing out okay it's very appealing and you know at the moment you look at it you know that this is a comment okay and this is very crystal clear I mean you know that this is a comment okay and similarly you can do the same thing with your XML syntax, XML keywords, text attributes that we have. Okay, you can just play around with that. And once you have, once you have done that, and after I have made all these changes, what if I want to do the same thing on some other PCs? Instead of uh, having to do all those settings all over again, what I can do is that uh, in my tools options. I have something called imports and export settings now as you can see whatever changes I'm making here it is automatically being saved into this location so I can just copy this location okay I can hit control R I can paste the location here I can hit OK now as you can see all these settings are saved here so for example if I want if I'm working on some other PC if I'm working at home and if I'm working in the office and if I want to uh, export the same settings all I can do is that I can just simply copy this file which is 231 KB so once I have copied that I can in some in the in the other PC I can use this option say use team settings use team settings file okay and then I can call the file that I want to to implement or the file that I want to work with so that's how easy it is.